Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome back to Final Trade. It is Low Effort Sunday. Let's open some cards. You know, I try to work on some of my decks once in a while, add some cards to them, update them, make them maybe in some cases a little more period correct. And let's see if we can do this without spilling my personal information everywhere. I'll just take it off screen for a second. Oh my god, why would they wrap these so much? Hold on, hold on. Oh my god, it's just personal affirmation all the way down. Yeah, you guys have seen those before. Uh, what else we got in here? Ooh, what's this? Little sleeve in there. It's a little uh, wintry scene with a dragon. How nice. Look at that. A gold gemstone mine. So, a couple bucks for a World Championship Edition gemstone mine. You know, I was thinking my uh, Pross Bloom deck, I had, for some reason, reflecting pools in it. Which, if you're from my era, you know that reflecting pool was a Tempest card. And Pross Bloom was big in the Mirage block. And Gemstone Mine was definitely one of the great enabling cards of that deck. My goodness. Okay. And like usual, when we had that last bonus buck sale, you know, I love Tempest Land. It's what I put in most of my decks. So I bought some, and then I got some of these Ice Age lands too, because I have the, oh boy, 1995 era Necropotence deck, and I realized I had a bunch of Tempest lands in it. So I decided to go ahead and buy some period correct Ice Age lands for that deck. Now let's see what's in here. You know, I try to try to work on some of these decks once in a while, add some stuff to them, change some things around, and just enjoy playing the game once in a while. So there's another gemstone mine. And of course, this should be a gemstone mine. Some more Tempest lands, just beautiful. And a couple more Ice Age land swamps specifically. Oh yeah, I love that one. That's my favorite one, Lordy. So look, guys, go buy some singles. Go update your commander decks if that's what you like the most. You know, spend a few bucks and just buy yourself some good enjoyment by updating or completing a deck or something like that. Go actually play the game with friends. Go to a local card store. Jam some games with strangers. Enjoy the game a little bit. You know, it's kind of a, a sad time to be in this investor community. Everyone's kind of down on... The bear market, the general economic malaise, the time of the year, everything everything together. And so try to enjoy yourself. Try to do something that's actually fun. Try to remember the reason we're here to start with is because we love these games. We love magic. We love these old cards. And, you know, the investing thing is just a nice side deal because we're at points in our life where we have discretionary income that we can afford to invest towards this kind of thing. So... Do something nice for yourself and go play some magic. Thanks a lot, guys.